Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. This one is my personal favorite bike. I love this bike. Um, so I'm gonna go over this bike, what components we used, and what makes this thing sick. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I'm a professional e-bike builder, e-bike mechanic. Um, really big into like e-bikes, solar panel stuff, reusable energy, sustainability, stuff like that. Um, so if you're into things like that, totally subscribe. Journey along with me. Come on and nerd out with Johnny Nerd Out. I'm trying to work on a cool slogan, but it's not working. Okay, let's get right into it. So this is the Benno Carry-On. This bike is awesome. It's considered a mid-tail bike. So it's not, it's a cargo bike, but what separates this from a, a bigger size cargo bike is the tail. It's considered mid-tail. Long tail would come out to here. You've probably seen some of them. They're huge. This one's a mid-tail. So it's about the same length as a normal bike, but you have way more cargo capacity. You can put pannier bags on the side here and you could carry a passenger on here if you wanted. It's just, it's a sweet bike. It comes integrated with front and rear fenders. It comes with a nine speed cassette in the rear. This is a really cool color to begin with. It's just really nice and pretty. It uses 24 by 2.6 inch wheels. So they're, they're kind of fat tires. So they could go anywhere you want, but they're small so it keeps capacity down low. I feel like you could just hold a lot more weight with those smaller tires. They're just like short round fat tires that are just strong. So you could carry a lot of stuff with this. It's got a really comfortable seating position. The hand grips are actually really nice. They conform to your hands. It's got a nice sloped handlebar that kind of wraps around a little bit. Benno stopped making this bike. So this is kind of a rare bike. So if you could get your hands on one of these, pick it up. They only make this now with the motor and battery already built into it. Someone like me, I don't want any of that. I want to do it myself. I want to do it how I want it to be done. Um, Cause for way less of a price, you get a more powerful motor and a larger battery, which gives you more range and it gives you more hauling capacity. And for me and my wife, this is my wife's bike. These are gonna be our car alternatives. So we use these things hard. These are our workhorses. So we need this to be able to replace a car. All right, so let's go into the components. For the motor, we used a Bafang 750 watt mid-drive. It's the BBS 02, puts out plenty of power. And I really like these O2 motors is because they've been coming out with headlight out wires. So you could power headlight and tail lights, which I have installed on this bike. You got a headlight here and a tail light here. It's really nice. So you can control the lights from the display. Super convenient, very safe. Highly recommend getting integrated lights on your e-bike. And we've got a 50 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery for plenty of range. For the display, we went with the 500C display. It's nice, it's small, it's color, shows you all the information you need. It's got watts, power, your speed, uh, all in a nice color graphic display. Um, and the controls are all one, all the buttons are all on the, on the display. It's really nice. Uh, we added a little bell here safety and of course with the mid-drive we put a gear shift sensor in it i put those pretty much on every install i do it's really a no-brainer highly recommend putting a, a gear shift sensor on a mid-drive bike what it does is it just cuts power momentarily while you're shifting so that you're not putting all that power to it while it's shifting you're going to strip out your chain your cassette your teeth on your rear cogs put a gear shift sensor on there for this for, and for this bike we have a all-in-one unit gear shift brake sensor on this bike so we had to put in a inline brake sensor cutoff so i didn't want to re replace this and put in a separate nine speed shifter and all that so you just put an inline brake sensor in there guys this is this is an awesome bike it looks nice it's pretty um you could outfit it with a nice rear or the nice front rack you could put pannier bags on it this is totally customizable and such a utility bike, but it's still fashionable at the same time. This is an awesome bike. Highly recommend it. It's my personal favorite bike. I have one. It's in black and it's totally modded for Armageddon. But this is a nice example of what it could look like when it's nice and sleek and pared down. Hope you guys like it. Feel free to leave me comments. And yeah, thanks for nerding out with me.